Once again, happy Friday Cardinals. I'm your host, Michael Griffin. This is your weekly update. Let's go ahead and wrap up the week. For our first story this week, North Central students and faculty have been bombarded by phishing scams in their email inbox almost every day for the last few weeks. For context, the term phishing means the fraudulent practice of sending emails pretending to be from a reputable company and or source in order to induce individuals to reveal personal information such as passwords, credit card numbers, etc. The North Central College ITS services have been working overtime to inform the campus community within a timely manner when a phishing scam occurs. However, it seems to be difficult for IT to get to keep up with the increasing regularity of these attempted scams. In response to the attacks, IT has actually reduced the amount of emails that any person on campus can send to others on campus to 100 an hour. So far, IT has not claimed a source nor origin of these attacks and is working to stop them. Be on the lookout for our news team's full story on this coming later this week. Next up, last Friday, Campus Safety sent an email to residential students about a concerning amount of thefts occurring in residential hall laundry rooms. Campus Safety specifically named Patterson Hall and ResRec as two buildings where thefts have occurred most frequently. If anyone has any further information or has anything of their own missing, residents are encouraged to contact Campus Safety and their area hall directors. Moving up into some national news now, former President Donald Trump has requested that the Supreme Court interject their opinion in his fight with the Justice Department over alleged confidential records that the former president took with him to his home in Florida when his term ended early last year. After winning the request for a spe special master to review the documents for executive privilege and attorney-client privilege, the court order was overturned by the Court of Appeals in Atlanta, allowing the Justice Department to continue their investigation using said documents. The Supreme Court filing claims that the appeals court that overruled the lower court's decision did not have jurisdiction over the case, therefore it should be overruled. This request to the Supreme Court was only to reinstate the special master overviewing the documents and not to cancel out the Justice Department's investigation. If the Supreme Court does rule in the favor of the former president, the Justice Department would still be able to use the documents in their review, however the special master would also be able to review them at the same time. This is still a developing story, and when the Supreme Court decides, we will bring you that information. For our last story this week, gas prices may be heading upwards once again as OPEC Plus, the leading oil producers, producing countries in the Middle East and Russia, have decided to reduce the production of oil by about 2 million barrels a day. This accounts for about 2% of the global supply. This is in response to the steep drop of the global price of oil towards the end of summer worldwide, leading to lower gas prices across the globe. As Western nations prepare to head into the winter season, this does bring concerns about the cost to not only heat homes, but the increased cost of travel throughout the holiday season. President Biden, in response to this, has decided to release more oil from the national reserves, hoping to tamp down the burden imposed on Americans throughout the winter season. That is all for this week. Please come back next week as we recap the largest stories throughout campus and our world at large. Have a great week, Cardinals.